this day and age, guys my age dress horribly at the restaurants. Um, it's just it's just not acceptable. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. New York City is a very special place, and there are there are people who are just a part of the New York City fabric. And even though he tries to escape and go to Miami all How the time. How dare he? Uh, <laughs> Mario Carbone is just a part of New York City. You you are just like the Empire State Building. I mean, you know, <laughs> not as tall. I'm not sure of the Empire State Building yet. But... No, no, no. You, you don't know this because you work too hard. Uh, the most incredible restaurants and, of course, now sauce in a jar, you know. The thing is, is you are to New York City... In the the culinary scene, the, I mean, it, it's major. And you, do you even stop to think about? I'm sorry, am I buttering your biscuit too much? Uh, no, you can butter my biscuit all day long. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean, what you... I stop and think about is the food that we serve is Italian food born in New York. So it's really important to us. It's it's not necessarily that food that you find when you're traveling abroad in Italy. The food that we serve at Carbone is New York Italian food. Right. So to be the the sort of standard of that when you're either either coming in as a tourist or you're going out for that like quintessential New York night, it, th- that's something that we preach at, at the restaurants. and something that, that is really really important to me as as a born and raised Italian New Yorker. Well, it is. Mm-hmm. It just is, and I and wear it proudly. I mean, you've worked hard for this, and your team, you guys, you're hardworking. Restaurant business is. Not for the faint of heart. No, no, no it's, it's, it's not going to be replaced by AI anytime soon. <laughs> no, no, and nor should it be. No. But uh, but looking at what you do here, not only with Carbone, but you have many restaurants here in New York City. But is Carbone your baby still? Carbone is definitely my baby. It's my you know my family's name, um, and the one that I probably when I walk into, I get the most sentimental sort of nostalgic feelings of still. Right. Yeah. Because I remember we used to go to that restaurant when it was, what, Rocco's? What was it? Yeah, name? Rocco. <laughs> that was a fun started restaurant. started in the 20s. Um, you know, God knows what was going on in the neighborhood back then. Right. And uh, and still, if, you know, if those walls could talk kind of place, it, it, you feel it. You feel you feel it when you're in the room. You're like, there's something there's something about this room. Is it haunted? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Danielle will be there. Probably. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so, uh, and when I was a kid, we used to come to New York, and my dad would drag us to the the, the Four Seasons. I mean, when I was a kid, when I was older. And, of course, I hated going, because I was like, I didn't want to put a suit on. You have to wear a t- coat and tie. Do, I mean, is it coat and tie still? It's preferred? not coat and tie still, no. Um, but that's the project that I'm probably most proud of, um, because of how difficult it was to resuscitate that um, you know, knowing that we were sort of younger guys going in at this New York American stalwart, you know, the most one of the most important dining scenes in American food history. Um, so the the job was huge. It was like uh, handing a young fashion designer this storied old house and being like, you know, don't mess it up. You know, don't upset the customers that still love it. But knowing your job is to bring new blood into this thing. It's amazing. This is restaurant. The, the, it has a, a pool. It's a pool room. Yeah. And if, I was like, how does it? It doesn't smell like like old chlorine in here. It actually smells, it smells it's nice. It's the only restaurant in America where the inside is landmarked. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, go. I mean, it's one of those New That's York cool. stories. When you say go, am I going to be able to get in if no. I go? No, probably okay. not. Oh, great. Yeah, but we can call. Can we call are we allowed to call you? Uh, no, you shouldn't call me either. No. <laughs> We're just kept out forever. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll get your contact okay. for somebody. <laughs> and there are restaurants, there are restaurants in any city in America that are diff- they're just a difficult table to get, to snag. Mm-hmm. I have two friends here who would love to have an easier job at getting a reservation at Carbo. Good. Okay. You, you want to meet him? Sure. Hold on. How do you, how do you work this thing? It's scary. I, I put them on. <laughs> Look, it, it's special guest one and two. Uh, it's... The VIP list girls, Meg and Audrey. Oh, jeez. You, you've heard the reviews, right? Uh, yes. Go cry about it. <laughs> Go cry about it. And, and, and you've, uh, hey, I'm pretty sure that they just did a review of Lucali where they said that the spicy pasta there was better than mine. I think Is that what you said? Wait. Oh. Hello? Where, where are they? She's on. Meg, Audrey, hello. 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 Mario Carbone, it is an honor. Did you not say that Mark's spicy pasta was better than mine? <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. I'm sorry. Your car, your spicy. You didn't Tony think I saw that, did you? Iconic of all time. Okay. You I thought I missed not, that one. I not that. Go cry about it. <laughs> I cried about it. Okay. Okay. Look, Meg and Audrey, you're both here, right? 
We're getting Audrey back. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, Meg is, Meg is coming back in. Okay. She's coming back in. Okay, look. If if we can guarantee you a reservation at one of the hardest restaurants to get a reservation in, will you be kind to Mario and his restaurants, please? Of course. We waited 24 years for our reservation at Carbone, and we still can't get back in. So I am willing to do whatever it takes to be able to get a standing table there. A standing, a standing table. table. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Standing whoa. table. I don't know. This got crazy. She any wants, table. She wants any a table. table there. Oh. So, okay, so you're both here now, right? I was shooting high. Okay. I, I don't think everyone's here. Well, look, uh, just be be nice. He's. It, it, sometimes, you know, it, it, you you get more in life if you're polite. <laughs> but, you know, I love you. I want you to rip the hell out of everyone. No, no we Mario, are we're obsessed with your restaurants. Your oh my you God. literally <laughs> won the spicy rickets from the Olympics, and we, we're we huge fans. All right, we're going to set it up. We're going to choose a night where I'm in the kitchen, and I'm going to make sure that you have a perfect meal. Look at that. Oh, my God. Also, you're doing God's work with Teresi as well. I'm sorry. I'm out of time. Thank you. Teresi's amazing. Yes. Okay. Yes, and you while we're thing. at it, we heard that you have – a Carbone Beach pop-up in Miami. We would love to come to that as well. If wow. Possible. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're a I didn't Bobby. realize I was Santa Claus today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what. Well, that's why he's here today. We're here to talk about Carbone Beach. And I bet I bet if you're just nice, you, you'll get in. That's all you got to do is be nice. It's all good. You know I love you. Yeah, or we'll go cry about it. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> we all would right. love to see you in Miami. Meg and Audrey, the VIP list girls, we love you. You have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you soon. And I owe you a date out. Love We're, you. Wait, so where you? Tell, tell Mark and Lucali I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, t- take it easy. Right, there you go. So if you're wondering, uh, turn that off. If you're wondering who they are, just go to follow VIP list girls NYC on Instagram. <laughs> I think they're awesome. They are. They're great. I know, but when you have food critics come in, Usually they're hidden. They don't tell you who they are. They then they write. Well, funny about- thing about the food critic is, in this day and age, um, people's opinions are so powerful that it's really sort of minimized the food, the professional food critic. Right. Because if you have a huge following and food is your thing, like oh, you're you're a food critic now. Like you're you can move the needle on restaurants. Mm-hmm. You can you can you can cause a stir. You can get a line, or you can hurt a business. Like. These these followings are huge, so it's it's over time it's minimized the the power of the professional food critic. There you go. Wow. You know who I love? Do you, uh, Brian can't stop eating. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's awesome. We're, he just got married. He's the greatest yeah. guy. I don't know if I know that one. Oh, you you, you, you got to get him in there. Mm-hmm. He's just the nicest guy, and he always is nice. He's, he's yeah. He know he doesn't eat in bad restaurants. What? How much stock? Okay. Okay. Well, can you speak into a microphone? <laughs> How much stock do you put in Google ratings? Because Scary refuses to eat at places that are less than a 4.3. Yeah, if it's 4.3 or below, he will not so let So we go. use yeah. all of those things as tools at the restaurant. So in our sort of weekly meetings with each general manager and chef, we'll pull up all of the reviews that we can get our hands on. You know, some of them are, you know, and you can filter through them. You know which ones are genuine and which ones yeah. aren't because there's, there's really useful information in those. You know, if they had an experience that was good or bad, like... That's something that we should know about. So we don't avoid them. We, we print them all out and we look at them weekly. That's um, and, and we use it as a tool, huh. you know. If you go to a restaurant and something's not right to you, say something. I, I believe they want to hear that from you because it's good for them. So don't be shy. But yeah, we want to get it right. I mean, you're a paying customer. I mean, we want you to leave happy. And, you know, even during the course of a meal, if something didn't go right, there's still while you're still there, there's still a chance to recover that you know that that guest. Scary. When when is that time you were a paying customer? No, no, he I, gets, I still pay. He gets free food all the time. It's, I just want. He's access. such a little whore. What? I just want access. Uh, but my question is, you know, you, you know, the major food group is the parent group, of course, along with Rich Teresi, and of course, known for Teresi. You've got Carbone. He's got Teresi. But do you guys ever criticize each other's dishes? Ever add stuff to the say? I, I think this could use a little bit more of this, or maybe you should drop that. And, and how do you guys work together on that? Because you guys are two legends in the industry. We, we, thank you. We definitely trust each other very, very much. So we basically use each other like as like a board of directors. Like if it's Terezi, he's, he's, he's driving the ship. He's coming up with what the concepts are, what he wants to serve. But then he'll use me as like a fresh set of eyes to come in and say, what do you, what do you think about that? Because he trusts my opinion and vice versa. So if I'm, you know, what we try not to do is, is collectively work on something. That's where it might get kind of contentious. It's like 
you're doing this, I'm doing that, and then and then I come in as a as a as a final sort of set of eyes and say, yeah, I think that's great, or or here's what I would do with it, because we trust each other. Last time I saw you, you were having dinner at Teresi. Yeah, and you it's a great restaurant. You 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 put a bite of something in your mouth, and you're like, hmm. Oh, you didn't seem excited about it. I probably made a note and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. I made that up. <laughs> Tracy is fabulous. Can I say something non food related? Yeah, yeah. please. So you you have great you have great clothes. I know you have a line Thank for men. You, now you have a line for women as well. But do you have a skincare line because your skin is perfect? You know, you have to you have to stand over the pot of boiling pasta water. <laughs> is that what it is? That that it's the mean? pasta steam. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And the olive oil. Nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> is this my is this a bed? Which one? Which one? Is I'm this? thinking of a pasta. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Pasta, you want to play? Yeah. Let's play. If you get it right, if you get it right, we'll. we'll I don't t- know what game we're playing, but let's play. It, I'm thinking of a pasta. Yeah. It, it, the wait, instructions wait. are in the title. Did it, did it, <laughs> J, uh, Jimmy Fallon play this on yeah. the show? Yeah. He stole it. He stole it. I was like, please don't do this on your show. It's lame. And he did it. But he did it anyway. <laughs> it's, I'm now thinking of a pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I get nothing else? Yeah, you have to write it down so that okay, we know, or at least text it to somebody. Oh, yeah. Don't look. Yeah, text it to somebody. Okay. Turn the other way. I mean, how many, gosh, how many different pastas have you been boiling in your lifetime? Mark? Are we talking about just noodle or preparation? I'm thinking, oh, oh don't get all, it's just a noodle. Type. Don't get all yeah. anal retentive on <laughs> Is there a sauce involved? <laughs> it's just a pasta. Oh, it's, 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 it's a, a you take dough and you make a, a So a noodle. Yeah, a it's shape. the noodle. It's not the dish. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a shape. A okay. Shape. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get my bearings here on this game. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Mario, let me, I'm going to put it up to my forehead. Yeah. Which I don't know how that helps. But I'm thinking of a pasta. Uh-huh. And I wrote it down. Yeah. If you get it right on the first try, oh, we, we will talk about Carbone Beach. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need us. But anyway, we'll pretend you do. Okay, I'm thinking of a pasta. Now just think it through. Don't get all crazy and mm-hmm. just blurt something out. Yep. What pasta am I thinking of? This music is stupid. You're thinking of uh, Fusilli. Oh, God. Oh, no. It was, it was rigatoni. Oh. Oh. And now we can't talk about Carbone Beach. That's it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> it's been nice. The whole reason he came. Have a great day. Enjoy your sauce. A third year of Carbone Beach at uh, <laughs> what, in South Beach. American Express, of course. Thank you to our partners at American Express. Begged you to come back again. They love you. The first year, they were, it was like, okay, we're going to try to recreate great meals on a beach, which is not easy to do. No. They were like, can you get real talent to do this? And our first act was Andrea Bocelli. <laughs> oh, well, there oh, you wow. go. <laughs> you know, we were good friends with his son, Matteo. Yeah. Got it. Now have him at the beach this year. Anyway, so uh, tickets, are, of course, at CarboneBeach.com. If you're a Platinum Card member, you have early access to tickets for the four-night affair. So it's four nights on the beach. Yep. What, what's the difference between each night? So different performer each night. Um, is the main difference. Mm-hmm. The meal is basically the same from each night. Um, and it's really just so people are coming and going during the course of the weekend. So just trying to have an extended weekend for those who are, aren't going to be there maybe the, all, all four nights. Uh, do we know who the performers are yet? Have you announced them yet? I know who they are. So you're not going to announce them? <laughs> I'm, How, what about one of them? Can you give us one of them? I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm allowed to. Well, then don't. Oh. Yeah. Can we do a rhymes with? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of a performer. Rhymes with Cher. <laughs> is, is Cher performing? Oh, my God. No, it rhymes with Flair, Danielle. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got that wrong. I want Cher to, Cher needs to do Carbone Beach. And see Cher her needs Christmas. to do Carbone Beach. I love, I love that That'd Christmas. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I, we're, we're friends with her. Can we get her on that? Yeah, I, would love to have, I would love to have Cher. She, she costs a lot of money. I will try that out for Well, let's, let's see what we can do. <laughs> okay. 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 So, uh, different performer each night. Yep. And now, but is the menu the same every night? The menu is the same every night. Yeah. Right. What are you serving up? It's a. It is an extravagant. It's like basically Carbone meets like. Remember the medieval times restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's like, like like a big turkey leg. It's like an extra. <laughs> it's like gilded plates and giant, giant, amazing portions of and, food. And, and you call the women wenches? <laughs> <laughs> they do. That, they do that. Yeah, at they the, do that. I don't know if you can do that times. anymore. Okay, um, there's a caviar like caviar stations and giant ice sculptures and. It's really over the top. It's very like Roman Empire. Love that. Mm, caviar stations. All this is there. Yeah. Um, is it sold out already? <laughs> people are, it, it's sold out. People, think, people a, want to know if it's already a sold out. A couple of the days are sold out, but there are still <laughs> tickets available for the others. Okay. I think uh, Thursday and Sunday, Friday and Saturday, are, are Saturday definitely sold out. I think Friday's getting close, and then Thursday and Sunday is still available. So uh, go to carbonebeach.com. It's pretty easy. Find out for yourself. 
Um, I had a question. The origin of a pasta dish, mm -hmm. um, carbonara. Yes. Is, is it really from guys who used to work in a, the coal mines? No. So the origin... Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, because I know I'm wrong. The I'm origin kidding. of carbonara, the American soldiers. So the American soldiers that were in Italy were given bacon and eggs as good American as good American rations to make mm -hmm. their breakfast. Mm -hmm. There became an abundance of these American soldiers' food rations in Rome, and uh, the Roman chefs took bacon and eggs and made carbonara out of it. Wow. So the origin of that dish goes back to, to, to the American the American soldiers in Rome. Once again, wow. Americans taking credit for everything. <laughs> we do. That's a great story though. Yep. What have you what do you learn? What what do you love about the history of food? I mean, do you get I, you're creating incredible dishes all the time with your team, but what about the history of food? Were you like a a food history nerd at some point in your life? Um, I think you know, each project that we do is, I like to go down a, a pretty thorough research rabbit hole. I like to I like to try to make myself an expert on whatever that topic is. And uh, I do a ton of reading, pulling old menus, trying to trying to make something, you know, because what we do is theater. It's the, the closest thing to a restaurant is, is theater. You know, it's, it's the exact same actors every day at the exact same time, putting on the exact same performance for a different group of people. Wow. It's theater. Um, and we try to set a really believable stage. In Carbone's case, it's sort of like the Ray Liotta era of 1950s, 1960s New York City. Um, in the grill, it's the it's it's Mad Men. Mad Men, yeah. you know. And so, so to set a really believable stage, you got to do your homework. You got to make sure that everything is right, the uniforms are right, the menus are right, the fonts are right, the sound is right. And to do that, that's a, that's a research project. So people leave an experience that they've experienced at a restaurant and not really knowing what it was they loved about it. The food was great, but there's so much other stuff going on, like like Mario's talking about. It it, it is, it's a theater. You're, it's a stage. Yeah. And it, it is lighting. It is the smells. It's There was a restaurant we used to go to, I forget where, and they made it very clear, do not wear cologne or perfume to our restaurant because <laughs> they were afraid it would compete with right. the food, right? The thing is, is if you walked in smelling, I mean, they would sniff you. <laughs> and they, they, they would ask you to leave. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> they had a, a woman up front that sniffed you before you walked into the restaurant. Really? Yes. Don't. Wow. Don't cloud up this food with your <laughs> Chanel number no. five. What would happen to the people who naturally smell like garlic, like some people we know? I, I, I think it's more like the man-made <laughs> scent. Okay. The garlic. Is, yeah, what's that, <laughs> Cutting mutts with scissors. Brilliant. I will. I, that's Instagrammable. I'm taking that with me. I'm telling all my friends. Are you I nuts? This, no, but seriously. Well, you can't. You can't just cut any mutts with scissors. It's burrata. Well, no. Oh. The mutts that we cut with scissors is 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 freshly made mozzarella. So it's like basically newborn mozzarella. We make it exactly when you order it. So it's kind of, it's really stringy. So you can't cut it with a fork and knife. It's, it's too stringy, it's too soft and, br and brand new. So we use scissors to cut it. Um, if, you, if you try cutting any other cheese with scissors, you're gonna, it's gonna look strange. But that, that's why we use it, that's why we use it, and that's kind of how you get that, that, that pull effect from it's it. It's a baby mozzarella. And you know, back in the day, when the old chefs in Italy would get gas, that's where the term cut the cheese came from. Oh. <laughs> Are you making up things? No. Mario knows. He's from the well, <laughs> yeah. they, all, they all know. Okay, look. Uh, let's talk about the sauce. The sauce is right there. I love how he, on each jar, he, write, he wrote a little bit about each sauce. Like, this is Carbone for cheese. He wrote, Carbone for cheese will excite your palate with a sweet and flavorful blend of 100% Italian tomatoes and four classic Italian cheeses, slow cooked to bring out a richness and flavor. This four cheese sauce will have everyone craving for more. Did you really write that? She's very good at that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Did you write that? Did of course, you I wrote every one of those words. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, of course, Carbone, it's right there. You can't miss it. And it uh, if you want to go to CarboneFindFood.com, you can buy your sauces. Or go to CarboneBeach.com to get on the beach for... Everything has my name. Yeah. OurLadyOfRocco.com. You've got a lot of websites. Yes. Uh, when did you decide to come up with your own line of clothing? Uh, so... I think the real impetus was that this day and age, guys my age, 
dress horribly at the restaurants. Um, it's just it's just not acceptable. Um, I think that they buy really expensive hoodies and they think that they're wearing nice clothes to dinner, and it got me worked up. Okay. Um, oh, guilty. Because women put <laughs> tremendous effort into getting ready to go out, and guys this day and age, especially guys like my age and younger don't care at all mm. they put on a hat and a hoodie and they come to the restaurant and it makes me crazy so do you ask them to remove the hat at the table i try not to cause a scene <laughs> um as much as i'd like to so i thought the best way to affect that was to try to take the the fan base of the restaurant the fan base of the things that i do and put something together that would make that would be comfortable for them but would make sense in the dining room and hope even remotely affect what's going on out there because it's it's just not it's not cute it's it's not it's not cute i'm glad you said something about this it's bad (laughs) yeah yeah I mean, but you should have your store in the front and force them to buy your clothing. Then they may come yeah. sit down. <laughs> Souvenir shop. So you yeah. don't sell hoodies, is what you're saying. No. We do not sell hoodies. And you, have, and you just have a woman's line now, right? You just how long ago did you start that? Well, it's it basically it's 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 virtually unisex. So women buy. It definitely leans uh, menswear, but women do buy it. Mm. Um, so it's not a full fledged women's women's line. No. Okay. Got a question? Can you please ask Mr. Carbo how to reheat penne? I'm a mom of three young toddlers. It's a bitch to reheat penny <laughs> because it, it heats all hard. Maybe make less penny. <laughs> That's a good oh idea. Wait, hold on. That's not a good one. Why, no... why make a truckload of penny? <laughs> well, she's got three hungry kids. And but she's a... saying reheat. She made it already. <laughs> this is true. Reheating pasta, reheating pasta is kind of a weird thing. I would start with maybe portion control. Good control, really. <laughs> this is the segment where, where Mario right. pisses off all of our Penny's only, it only takes a couple of minutes to make Penny. It's going to take almost as long to reheat it. It's true. It's true. By the way, yeah, let me speak to Mr. Carbone. Not a good idea. <laughs> sometimes, you, sometimes you put a dish on the menu, people don't eat it. Sometimes, sometimes the answers are not what you're looking to hear. <laughs> sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> all right, let's recap. Let's recap, shall we? Uh, of course, all things Carbone and incredible, incredible restaurants here in New York and beyond. Uh, Sedell's. I know you just, my my family in Dallas loves so they, they said we went to Sedell's your guy uh, Mario I said he doesn't have a restaurant in Dallas but <laughs> yes he does I looked it up you do of all places Dallas Dallas Texas Th- now they finally get great bagels all right so if you want to go check out uh year three thanks to American Express it's back with Mario Carbone at Carbone Beach go to carbonebeach.com and if you are a platinum card member they like you more <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. And of course, the sauce. We we love the sauce, and I I always have jars in my house. There's 13 flavors that. of this sauce. Yeah, there that's are. a lot. And it's and he has no problem. If you want to doctor it up, feel free. Mm-hmm. You're feel good. Free. There are little recipes. Get, get on creative. Side. Get creative. Get nuts. But Mario, we love you. Thank you for coming in here. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. I think we've abused you enough. You make <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He's the one abusing the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. That, you weren't very kind to that mother <laughs> three. <laughs> she needed to know the truth. Okay. <laughs> the truth hurts. Mario, thank you. Have a great day. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge.